Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will install kubectl and minikube on Ubuntu. So if you want to install minikube on Windows, link is in description. So let's get started. Uh, I will put the link uh, in the description so you can follow that links. So here we are uh, installing kubectl first. So go to tools and then install tools. Click on the install tools. Here we will install uh, kubectl on Linux because we are using Ubuntu, so it's a Linux distribution. So here are the commands that we will use to uh, install uh, kubectl on Ubuntu. Before that, we will do some settings or do some steps. And after that, we will install kubectl. First, we will update our uh, Ubuntu machine so this is the command that we are using to update and after the update updating we will upgrade our machine as well so now uh, we will update our machine okay once it's uh, done now we will move to our next command where we will install our curl here you can see we are installing the curl command because it's uh, compulsory for our work so it's done now we will install now we will install the transport uh, transport for http okay it's also done take a lot but here we just let it up I think uh, I make a mistake here. So now it's uh, good to go. Okay, now it's uh, time to install virtual machine. Let me just show you uh, that uh, we need virtual machine or docker for install minikube. So if you go to the minikube official website you can see here in the container or virtual machine manager we need uh, any one of the machine like docker uh, hyper-v or virtual machine so for this tutorial i will go with the uh, virtual box so now uh, let's just install virtual box on uh, our Ubuntu to the Ubuntu terminal. I will uh, give you all the commands in the description, so you just uh, relax and uh, just copy and paste all the commands from description. So on this tab, just uh, click OK and uh, use your keyboard arrows and uh, press Yes and hit enter. Now we successfully installed VirtualBox on uh, Ubuntu and we will use that uh, VirtualBox for uh, Minikube. Now it's time to install Minikube. This is the command and uh, it's a binary uh, file which we are uh, just installing. It will take a few minutes and it's according to your internet speed. Now once this uh, done, now we will download kubectl uh, checksum file. This is also required to install uh, kubectl. Okay, it's done. Now it's time to check that uh, checksum file and uh, it uh, if it will show the okay it's mean our checksum file is working perfectly now finally it's time to 
install kubectl just copy and paste all the commands from their official website okay as you can see our kubectl installation has been completed now uh, for check the kubectl version we can uh, check through uh, that python or we can check through by this yaml format as well as you can see it's a yaml a yaml output now it's time to install or set up minikube on ubuntu for that you need to two processors uh, two cpus and 20 gbs of free disk space so let let us confirm that how many processors that we are currently using as you can see in my case there are four cpus and uh, if i just uh, check my disk size i have uh, 34 gigabyte free disk space available so make sure that as well for you now we are installing for Ubuntu, so we will go with the Linux and it's 64 uh, it's 64 bit now we will just copy and paste uh, those commands it will take a few minutes a few seconds to install now we will copy this command and uh, with this command we will install minikube provide your root password and uh, installation has been completed and now it's time to create uh, uh, you can see uh, the version of uh, minikube right now and now it's time to create a cluster and uh, a kubectl node with this uh, command so this is the command and uh, one thing that I want to mention here if you got any error uh, or any problem with the this command you can uh, you can feel free to uh, comment comment me on uh, the comment box and uh, I will give you the solution uh, according to your error so feel free to uh, contact me through comments so now it's uh, creating a cluster and it will take uh, around two to three minutes to create your first cluster I will tell the people I'm not writing my work hey boy stay there and that is good that it will be harder so this is it for this video uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to never miss any update and uh, uh, keep connect with uh, this channel thank you